Hey, what's up guys, Bennett ProFixer, and today we're gonna to talk about USB amp meters. If you've ever had a phone or a device on your workbench that you've plugged in and left charging and the percentage doesn't seem to be going up despite showing it's charging, you might need one of these. I'm gonna show you how simple and easy these are to use and how much more insight you can gain on the charging of your device. Let's check it out. A USB amperage meter is an incredibly simple but effective tool that everyone needs to have on the workbench. Uh, this one in particular is a power jab, and I picked this one up from Amazon. I've linked it in the description below. As well, the power block that I'm going to be using for most of the video is going to be this anchor power block that I've plugged into an extension cable just so I can get it in the video. i am linked that one up in the description as well, so check those out. Um, but I'm going to show you how this works. Essentially, you have uh, this end here that plugs into your wall base and then you have this one here that you can plug in a charge cable. Uh, so we're going to go and plug this in. Once you plug it in it's going to turn on and you'll notice that the volts jump right up to about 5 volts. Uh, the amperage will stay at zero because you don't have anything consuming any power uh, because nothing is plugged in. If we plug in a charge cable uh, just like we did there, it uh, still doesn't show anything because it's not plugged into a device but we're going to take this phone here and plug it in and I'll kind of show you what it does. Uh, so this one here shows that it is charging, and um, this could be a false indicator, right, because I, I think a lot of shops have plugged something in and then noticed after a couple hours that maybe it wasn't charging if you get those um, kind of finicky phones. Um, but with a USB amperage meter, you'd be able to see exactly the rate that it's charging at. So we have the positive indicator here saying that it's charging, we have volts that are going into the device, and then we have 1.6 amps of power that are going through the charge cable into the device. Um, so incredibly useful to ensure that it's actually charging. As well if you charge, if you change out a charge port on a device, you can use this to inspect and see the actual amperage that it's pulling through because that is incredibly important. And then as well uh, during battery swaps and things like that, um, you want to make sure that the charge rates are still at the optimal rate and that nothing else is going wrong. If we take a completely dead device, um, we can see that uh, not only do we get the positive indicator on the screen itself, you can see that it is pulling in power, ensuring that this symbol here is in fact true. Uh, so this one would definitely charge up as long as there's nothing else wrong with it, but we can definitely see that it is trying to charge. Something over here with this particular one, uh, this one will not show any amperage going through. And this could be one of those devices that uh, you plug in and you just kind of guess because you leave it plugged on the charge cord for quite a long time, hoping that it's charging, hoping that maybe it's just a bad LCD and you can't see anything. But in reality, if you use this here, you'll notice that there is no amperage going through the device at all. So that would indicate that there is a major problem with this one and you need to more fully diagnose it. Another cool thing that you can do with your USB amperage meter is you can test blocks. Uh, this is a pretty cool thing because you can see how much a particular block is putting out. So if we take this one here, uh, this is an older LG block that's rated for 2 amps. Um, this one here was charging at about 1.5 amps. Now if we plug it in, we get the same charging symbol, which is okay. But then once we look at the actual rate, it's dropped down to 4.9 and 0.9. So definitely a much lower charge rate. Even this particular old block, this one uh, may give us the same results, but you can test those as well. So if we plug this in, we'll see that it is charging once again, and we're getting those same rates there, 0.9. Um, so it is pretty handy because you can test blocks, and not only that, but you can test cables. This is a cheap cable that is non-MFI certified. If we plug it into we're going to use this block here because this one's the actual high powered one that we were getting the good rates out of. So we'll kind of show you here. This one's doing uh, 1.7 at this point because we are getting a, a bit higher percentage on the phone. If we swap it out for this cheaper cable, and test the amperage, we'll see that it's dropped down to 0.9. Um, so definitely there is some restrictions on this cable, and as well being non-MFI certified, uh, this would definitely not be a good choice to use long term. Um, but this can 
definitely help you figure out if your charge cable is bad, if your block is bad, or if the phone itself is even charging. So an incredibly simple device that everyone needs to have on their bench. There is a bunch of different versions of these. Um, basically, all of them work. Um, but if you don't have these already, go ahead and buy three or four of them, put them on your workbenches, and use them when charging devices. That way you're sure that it's actually charging at the optimal rate. So as you can see, using a USB ammeter is incredibly important and can give you a ton of diagnostic data on the actual device itself. Everything that I've used in this video, including this meter, is linked up in the description below. Don't forget to like this video and give us a thumbs up if you liked it. If not, the other button seems to work okay too. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button. I appreciate you watching. I'll catch you later.